Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Not bad. This is one of the best all-around watches you can buy at any price from any brand. 40 millimeters in stainless steel, this is the Blancpain GMT Revai. Based on a movement launched in the early 2000s, this is a watch that gives you everything from luminescence to water resistance, travel time functionality, and one of the best alarms going. All that, it features haute horlogerie, finishing, and wonderful ergonomics to suit almost any wrist. So let me demonstrate. The watch is 40 millimeters in diameter, it is 13.5 millimeters thick. From lug tip to lug tip, it is 44.5 millimeters, so it's nice and narrow across the wrist, like a smaller watch. But it has a nice, broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. So on the wrist, it's got a nice, broad, modern stance, but across the wrist, it's fairly short, making it suitable for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. My wrist, for those who might be new to the channel, is 16 centimeters in circumference. Now taking a quick look at the strap, it's upscale. This watch works just as well on a rubber strap or a textile though. Here we have the strap for a night out, medium rectangular scale alligator leather. You can see it's a semi-gloss black. It's got a little bit of bolstering to add volume. The side is sheer cut. There's a monotone stitch. On the underside, actually has an inlay of calfskin that's nice and supple. And as you could see, it is a brand new Blancpain factory strap in outstanding condition. No crimping, no gouging. Taking a quick look at the buckle, it's a relatively simple single fold deployant, all of high polish and appropriately branded inside and out. What it does have that makes it wonderfully clean is that once you've buckled the strap down, there are no strap minders externally. All of the excess length is stored underneath the strap, which uh, keeps it nicely constrained, neat and tidy, and it eliminates the need for strap minders or these little loops right here. So jumping back to the watch, you can see that it is a distinctive shape. Very few brands use this particular bowl-like round case with stepped lugs. So the lugs are stepped out from the case band. This is a design that's been used across many Blancpain watches, from the 50 Fathoms to the Villeray collection to the Le Mans collection. And what it does so well is it constrains the width across the wrist, as on a 40 millimeter case, you would expect a watch to be up to 50 millimeters across the wrist, and this is a very narrow sub 45. We have this lovely set of double domed gadroons on the bezel. Everything here is in high polish. We have a number of large, deeply knurled crowns, and I can demonstrate what everything does. Right here, I have an on-off toggle for the alarm. It has a screw down. All of these are screw downs because the watch is 100 meters water resistant. Now up here, I have a system that allows me to set my local hour hand as this watch is a travel timer. I also have the ability to set everything in sync here. And now you can see that the 24 hour secondary time zone moves as I move everything in sync. Now down here, I have the ability to set my alarm time. And you will note that the alarm hands are loomed. Now all of this is screw down. You can manually wind this watch, but it is an automatic winder. We'll go into some of the advantages of that in just a moment, because there's more than meets the eye, but let's take a quick look at the loom shot. This watch has a riot of loomed sub-register hands, but you can see quite easily where the hour and the minute lie. Let's get a little bit more light and charge it up a bit better so you can see it. There we go, now you can really see it quite clearly. Quite a few different loomed indicators, including the power reserve indicator for the alarm and the alarm on-off indicator. Now about those two, this is one of the very, very few alarm calibers that is capable of winding both the time-telling part of the watch and the alarm itself. So this is caliber 1241G. It was originally released back in 2003 when the Le Mans 
GMT Revi arrived. It is a high horology movement and beautifully finished. So automatic winding, it has a 45 hour power reserve. It has a beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is adjusted in five positions, which is the high horology and chronometer standard. And it features two time zones, one in a 12 hour format, one in a 24 hour format. It also has the alarm with the on off complication. And because the watch can automatically wind the alarm, you have this little indicator that lets you know how much alarm power reserve is left. And it will run for quite a long time, up to 30 seconds when fully energized. Most alarm watches force you to manually wind the alarm. The dial is a lovely white gloss lacquer and quite handsome. And it has a lovely style of very serifi Arabic numerals. The movement is gorgeous in its architecture. You can see it has a nice assembly of bridges that stack handsomely. On their edge, you can see that they are mirror beveled and to quite a high standard. We have on this movement fired blued screws, not the sickly chemically dyed kind that wind up looking neon blue. We have lovely linear Cote de Genève stripes. We have satination on most wheels, but if you look at a couple of the wheels in the system, such as the ratchet wheel, you can see that solarization is used, which is more like a spiral satination. We have a lovely depth effect to the movement, and though there's a little bit of a smudge from my fingers on the case back, you can appreciate that the striker for the alarm, more like a minute repeater striker really, has been beveled on its side and black polished on its top with micro engine turning or perlage on the base plate. It is quite fetching. And again, all of this is 100 meters water resistant, so it gives you everything you need on a modern luxury timepiece. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.